Azerbaijan today. Challenging the authorities means instant detention. There's a huge fight going on in countries like Azerbaijan. On one hand, you have journalists, activists, citizenry, and on the other hand, you have the regime that has all the tools at their disposal. Ölkədə ən çox axtarılan adam idim. Sanki terörist bir nömrəli terörcü idi. Now it is 18 months since this journalist was jailed in Azerbaijan. Khadija Ismailova became the enemy of the state. They have the financial wealth because they are a petrol state. This is yeah, it's using by our president. You can't buy love, but you can buy sport events and pop stars. Grand Prix, you have influence in the world, you have respect. We got in touch with this whistleblower. He handed us some secret documents, people, numbers, bank accounts. What I saw and heard was data lobbying, cash money given privately in the hotels. And that was, you know, money paid to European politicians to shut up and to even endorse the government in Azerbaijan. And then we have another major revelation. A very important high-level politician was in the data. You were a member of parliament in Italy, you were a member of uh, the Council of Europe. Why did you accept this money, more than 2 million euros from Azerbaijan? The Council of Europe is actually the guardian of values. And if you destroy its credibility, you are destroying something that is fundamental to all democracies. What people don't realize in the West is that it's going to bite them back big, big, big.